Osprey Tempest 9 liter and it is the female version. If you're looking for the men's version, I'll link it below. It is the Osprey Talon. But everything is exactly the same for their features. It's just one's fitted for a female's body, one is fitted for a male's body. Okay, so this Osprey Tempest 9 is the smallest size that they have in the Tempest series that is actually a backpack. If you go any smaller to the 6, it's actually um, a fanny pack or a lumbar bag. I'm about 5'5 five five and usually a medium in everything that I wear, and I really like the size of this bag. Everything that I needed this summer, I was able to put it in here. Here's the bag. It fits really nice, it's very comfortable, and it is definitely a breathable bag. I found it to be very comfortable. The reason I went with the Osprey Tempest for my day bag is because if you watch the review I did on my backpacking backpack, I loved it so much that I had to find a small backpack that was similar to it in design and function and all of the things that I liked. So this bag does come with nice breathable mesh in the back. They call it Airscape and if you watch any of my videos, you know that I do sweat a lot and this having this mesh in the back is really nice so that you can get a nice breeze going on back here. The straps, I have found them to be very comfortable, nothing pinches or anything like that. There's a little pocket here where you can put stuff here, you can put some ice picks if you need to. And these hip pockets are great. I put gummy worms in mine along with bug spray and tissues and I still have my pocket knife but gummy worms come first. Next, we have this little section here. It's not an enclosed section, but it is a little pocket that fits down the body of the bag for a water bladder. And this clip here, it helps to keep the bladder from falling all the way to the bottom of the bag to kind of keep it upright and stretched so nothing gets too clumped and misshapen in there. It's supposed to be for a two liter water bladder. However, my three liter fit in here. I just didn't fill it up all the way when I did the hike to Harding ice field in Alaska and it worked great. I just didn't have a two liter at the time. And now that I have a two liter, of course, I'll be using it in here. But hey, if you only have a three, you can make it work. Just don't fill it up all the way or else it'll be so hard to squeeze in here. It has these straps here that are, I believe they're supposed to be load lifting because they do pull on the straps of the bag here. Granted, I, this bag, unless you're putting things that are just super solid in there, they're not gonna, it's not gonna be a crazy heavy bag. I do have these straps here that go across the hip where I like to keep my bear spray. And I live in Alaska, so there's bears in the summer, typically when I like to hike. So having bear spray on me is definitely a must. I like to leave it in this pocket here. That's why I'm doing this review, so that when I go hiking next, I'll have my bear spray with me. I, If I don't leave it in this pocket, I tend to forget it, and I do not like to hike without it. So I keep my bear spray in this pocket. You can also, if you don't like water bottles, I mean, if you don't like water bladders, you can put a water bottle in a side pocket. You do have the option of having this drawstring on the outside or on the inside of the mesh. So up to you, I got one, my bag came where one was on the outside, one was on the inside. So just kind of up to you how you want to work that part. Next, this top section here is where I keep snacks. I know, you practically know all the places where I keep snacks in my bag, but that's what I think about first is snacks bear spray, water, and then snacks again. <laughs> so I keep snacks or sunglasses. I like to get my sunglasses up here as well. Easy to access so they don't go to the bottom of my bag. Then this part right here is for if you have a helmet. This is a nice little place to put your helmet. It's, um, I know some bags kind of have like an open pocket to carry the helmet, but I like the slim design of this where you can just lock in your helmet. You don't have to worry about having a whole pocket for it. But it does have this drawstring section with a buckle. So when you unclip this buckle, if you want to, you can put like a rain jacket in here. So if it was previously raining, but it's not anymore, you can put your rain jacket here. This bottom does have some slits and a hole to let some of the water drain out. So it's not just pooling at the bottom of this section. Their sizes come kind of small, medium. So I did get this in a small, medium because I am a small in their larger aura backpack. You want the quick guide, I will leave it in the description box below. It's directly from Osprey on that sizing guide. So let's open up the backpack. It's 
So when you open up this pack, you do have this mesh pocket on the top, which is great. I like to keep things like a mini first aid kit and things like that up here so that they don't get lost in the bottom of the bag, but I do have them easily accessible if needed. And then the rest of the pack is just open. It's just nice and open and it's it's a pretty big bag. I've taken everything from a rain jacket to gloves, a hat, an extra, I think a rain jacket and a jacket, flashlight and anything that I can think of that I need to bring with me while hiking. This bag definitely served me well. I wanted the smallest bag I could have but still be comfortable wearing it and just feel great while I had it on. If you want to see the bag that actually inspired this purchase, I did a full review on my backpacking bag, which I'll leave on the screen of this video and you can click on it or in the description box below. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.